hands on each other's shoulders, short chopping steps. Ready, go. In this drill, a protectee is trapped inside a venue under attack. The agents must get him to safety. All clears, come out on your mark. Roger that. Count it up. Three, two, one, go. First, two agents spread out to provide suppressing fire. Are we clear? Cross the three. Nine to 12, clear. Trapper, I'll go open the door. Perimeter is clear. With cover in place, another agent prepares the vehicle. Hercules, ship leader. While the team leader coordinates with the driver. Hercules, go ahead. Move the barricade. Roger that. On your mark. When everything is in place, the leader gives the command. My bunker's coming out on my mark. Roger, all clear. Three, two, one, mark, go. Slower, 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 smoke steps. There you go. Evacuations are only one scenario out of hundreds that the Secret Service can simulate here at their training center just outside Washington, D.C. Reload, fire two additional rounds, 12 seconds. Agents on protection assignments must return to the 500-acre compound several times a year to requalify on key skills. Get eyeballs down there and tell them where he's going. You may have to make room for the man up. One of the things that's very important to us is making sure that we uh, keep our people uh, up to date in the training and the equipment. And it just doesn't stop. Open door on the right. Sir, on the right. If the protecting wasn't here and we were just a team, no man is more important than the other, correct? They're all the same. We're a different job. Who's more important? The protectee, so we expose ourselves to risk. Stand by! Secret Service agents and officers must be proficient in everything from firearms to high speed evasive driving. The most important rule is to keep moving. A stopped car is a sitting target. An enemy could create a deadly trap just by blocking the end of a narrow city street. That's why the Secret Service teaches the J-turn. First, the driver shifts into reverse and accelerates above 40 miles per hour. Then, by cutting the wheel and shifting quickly into drive, the vehicle can spin around in less than two car lengths. With careful timing, an entire motorcade can reverse direction, even in a narrow street, without coming to rest. Technical driving takes practice in any car, but a few agents must master the techniques in an armored limousine. Even though it looks like a sedan, it actually is built to do what we need it to do. The specs on these rolling bunkers are top secret, but they're said to have armor as thick as a phone book and weigh four times more than a stock Cadillac. They transport the service's most important protectees, including the President of the United States. Some people refer to the, uh, the presidential limo as the beast just because it's, uh, it's so large and so heavy. Although the uh, performance figures and the capabilities of it are classified, uh, trust me, it's a, it's a very capable vehicle.